Chapter 4. Get and Stay in Sync Remember that for an organization to be effective, the people who make it up must be aligned on many levels, from what their shared mission is to how they will treat each other to a more practical picture of who will do what when to achieve their goals. Yet alignment can never be taken for granted because people are wired so differently. We all see ourselves and the world in our own unique ways, so deciding what's true and what to do about it takes constant work. Alignment is especially important in an idea meritocracy, so at Bridgewater we try to attain alignment consciously, continually, and systematically. We call this process of finding alignment getting in sync, and there are two primary ways it can go wrong. Cases resulting from simple misunderstandings and those stemming from fundamental disagreements. Getting in sync is the process of open-mindedly and assertively reflecting on both types. Many people mistakenly believe that papering over differences is the easiest way to keep the peace. They couldn't be more wrong. By avoiding conflicts, one avoids resolving differences. People who suppress minor conflicts tend to have much bigger conflicts later on, which can lead to separation, while people who address their many conflicts head-on tend to have the best and longest-lasting relationships. Thoughtful disagreement, the process of having a quality back and forth in an open-minded and assertive way so as to see things through each other's eyes, is powerful because it helps both parties see things they've been blind to. But it's not easy. While it is straightforward to have a meritocracy in activities in which there is a clarity of relative abilities, because the results speak for themselves, such as in sports where the fastest runner wins the race, it is much harder in a creative environment where different points of view about what's best have to be resolved. If they're not, the process of sorting through disagreements and knowing who has the authority to decide quickly becomes chaotic. Sometimes people get angry or stuck. A conversation can easily wind up with two or more people spinning unproductively and unable to reach agreement on what to do. For these reasons, specific processes and procedures must be followed. Every party to the discussion must understand who has what rights and which procedures should be followed to move toward resolution. We've also developed tools for helping do this, which you will hear later in the appendix. And everyone must understand the most fundamental principle for getting in sync, which is that people must be open-minded and assertive at the same time. Thoughtful disagreement is not a battle. Its goal is not to convince the other party that he or she is wrong and that you are right, but to find out what is true and what to do about it. It must also be non-hierarchical, because in an idea meritocracy, communication doesn't just flow unquestioned from the top down. Criticisms must also come from the bottom up. For example, this email was sent to me by someone who worked for me after a meeting with clients. All the senior people at Bridgewater, including me, are routinely criticized and judged by our subordinates. From Jim H. to Ray, Lionel K., Greg J., Randall S., David A. Subject, Feedback on ABC Meeting. Ray, you deserve a D- for your performance today in the ABC Meeting and everyone that was in the room that saw you agrees on that harsh assessment, give or take half a grade. This was especially disappointing for two reasons. One, you have been great in previous meetings where the subject matter to be covered was the same, and two, we held a specific planning meeting yesterday to ask you to focus tightly on culture and portfolio structuring because we had only two hours to have you cover those two topics. Me cover the investment process, have Greg do the observatory, and have Randall do implementation. Instead, you took a total of 62 minutes, I measured, but worse, you rambled for 50 minutes on what I think was portfolio structuring topics and only then got to culture and you talked about that for 12 minutes. It was obvious to all of us that you did not prepare at all because there is no way you could have been that disorganized at the outset if you had prepared. 